Hello, my friends. Welcome to Mini Kit Monday for September, if you can believe that. So, let me tell you that something happened when I was pulling this kit together. This kit grew and grew and grew, and now it's massive. And I don't want to take anything away from it. So we will see how this kit goes. I might end up with a couple of extra layouts from this kit. All right, so I'll, I'll take you to the beginning. And I'm going to go ahead and put this mood board maybe up there for a bit. But this is a ridiculously beautiful mood board that Kathy Feidel came up with for us. And then after she put that up, Dolly said, oh, it looks like Vicki Booten. Wouldn't it be fun if we all had some Vicki Booten in our kit? So that's where this started. All right, you know what I'll do? I'll just put that right there. How do you do it without a glare? I'm next to a window. I'm getting something. Okay, so I went and pulled Vicki Booten. I didn't pull the human. I pulled the supplies that I had for Vicki Booten. And I had gotten a lot of it, and then I used a lot of it up. So literally, see these papers? These are the Vicki Booten papers that I happen to have left in my entire stash. Okay, so that is not, okay. So that's all I have for that. Then I will show you the rest of what I have. It's, it's a nice little collection, but paper-wise, it's a little deficient. So I have both sets, not complete, pieces of both sets, of die cut slash ephemera. So there's a ton and ton and ton in there. Very cool, right? Then I have this that I got, I believe at Tuesday morning, and it's not a new product at all, 2016, which isn't old. So all kinds of tags. So I'm gonna have to come up with inventive ways to use the tags. Okay, got it. Then somehow it seems I must have had three of these collections or three of these uh, puffy, puffy and embossed stickers. She calls them stickers, but look, like there's embossed bits, like debossed, embossed, whatever. So I have three sets of these. Wouldn't that be nice to kill these off? I do have, I have this whole sticker book, and I think... I also have two extra pages. I used to belong to the scrap room. And one of the things that they do is they add in um, not necessarily full sheets of things, but they'll give you partial sheets. And I do know the book itself was, I had a double of one of the sheets doesn't really matter. I do know that these don't stick really well, so you actually have to use a little bit of adhesive with them. I have this really nice, it says, hello friend. It's chipboard. I have lots of those pieces left. I've used a good amount. Now, where this is concerned, let me see, is there anything I can hold up so you can actually see this? Well, here we go. Look at this really nice deep green, by the way. So I have these left of these puffy fun words, right? So I have those. What else? What else? Okay. I have a full set. Shet. I have a full set of these. I believe these are Vicky Booten. I'm pretty darn sure. I got them, I believe, at Tuesday morning. So I have all of those. And lastly, and, and this looks like a pretty nice size kid, right? This doesn't even start what I did to myself. Lastly, I have this. So that's my little Vicky Booten component to this kit. And what I thought I would do is try to kind of make it a thing that I reach for these products first this month and then reach for the other ones. Now, this is what I'm saying now, but I have no idea what I'm gonna be scrapbooking. So let's just pretend that that's my plan. All right, so next what I did. All right, so then I went into my, I have a bin with like collections from either um, Peachy Cheap or bits I have found along the way, you know, just parts of collections. So to go along next, all right, once again, look at these colors together. You'll see where my issue is gonna come up with next. All right, so this was a kit from Scrap Room. It's Pink Paisley Pick Me Up Collection. 
And I think, yeah, it's just the one collection in here. All right. So this was from Scrap Room, which is great. Never touched this little kit. Lovely. I don't even really know what's in here. I just know that this was spot on. Let's see. Oh, lovely. I have two sheets of cardstock. Which color is this anyway? It's gorgeous. It's perfect. It's Typhoon. Okay. Two sheets of Typhoon cardstock. I have, oh boy, that is a lot. A marigold yellow. I have a sheet of pink paisley pick me up in number 20. Which I've never used this one and I didn't really like it. I do really like this one. This really nice it's like a blush pink um, ledger paper. I have this great navy blue tone on tone, and it does get darker as it goes down. And this wonky stitched polka dot. I'm going to go like that because I could use that for my son. That's fun. And then uh, pick me up in number two, floral print. And once again, I like the B-sides better. All right, so that came with it. I have a nice sheet of washi. I've got one of the six by 12s of the chipboard. And then I have, oh, there's not much. You can actually see a little smattering of the die cuts. All right, so that was in this set. I'm like, okay, I'm gonna actually use up some of these little partial kits that I have. So kind of what got me excited was the idea of killing off some little packaging, which you're a scrapbooker, you know the win if you actually killed something off. Okay, so then what happened next? This happened a few times, my friends. What happened next when I was going through those partial bits is I saw this. This is another Paige Evans set. This is kind of funny to me. Okay, so this, I... Like I said, I was like, all right, what's in these things? All right, I have nothing there. So this is Whimsical. I have Whimsical 24. That's a really nice blush pink. Again, it's so funny how they will, um, they'll have the same colors happen more than once. I have Whimsical number 20, love that green. Oh, I used the side before, I cut out all the polka dots, fun. This is number 20. This was in a Secret Not Secret Kit Club Layout Palooza class that I used it in. Oh, okay. Look at this, my friends. Look at this purple and look at the purple in my paper. Holy moly, does that actually work? Okay. All right, I'm gonna go rogue. Show you that one. I believe I've used this one, number nine. With a, oh, it's got glitter on it. Hmm, don't know what that's from. The nice yellow. I have not used this before. This is number 10. I've never even seen this one. Shows you how I go through my supplies. Fabulous background paper. A little bit of distressing, and it gets darker as we go. Kind of feeling that for a background. Never saw this paper in my life. <laughs> Whimsical number 12. Oh, same thing. Now this one is a sage green with just a little sage, oh, I don't know, between sage and mint, like it. I have used this one, number 13, really nice deep green. Number 19, it's the blocks. Oh, that's gorgeous. And this one I know I use because I cut out the little pieces and I believe I made banners and a nice cornflower blue. All right, so it has that. I have a partial little pack of the floral pieces are in here. I've got a partial pack of the enamels. At least we know they'll match, right? Then I have, okay, I've opened it. Interesting, so it must be a partial pack of 40 piece ephemera. I'm sure it's a partial pack. And then I have the Whimsical Pattern Swatches books. And I can tell you, I have a very hard time with these. I don't know why, but they make me struggle. So that's not necessarily a bad thing to have product that I struggle with because it'll stretch me creatively, yada, yada, yada. You know all that kind of stuff. So 
The reason why I'm putting these back in the bags as I go, because I'm going to try to concentrate on this Vicki Booten line and then the next set, then the next set. Because otherwise I'll kill nothing off and I'll just have all the packages again. The last collection I pulled from that um, set that had just bits, and this is also from Scrap Room along the way. It is Freebird by Photoplay. And hopefully you can see how the colors work again. And I don't know what's in here, so I'm kind of excited. So, I mean, we're picking up the mulberries. We're picking up that really great teal. We're not getting that uh, mac and cheese yellow as much. We are getting the navy though. So I thought this collection did work. So let's go from papers and go out from there. Oh, I, do I have cardstock again? Hold on. Okay, so I have two of this Dove Gray cardstock. Oh, a six by 12 sheet. It's a, I'm sorry, four by six cut aparts they're called. And the back side is just a really kind of cool print. This is I See You, very geometric. Oh, eyeballs, lots of eyeballs. Okay, probably that side. This one is called three by four cut aparts. All right, that bird is hilarious. Look at, it says living my best life. So cute. Grow wild, that reminds me of my daughter, Ryan. I'm gonna go like that for now. All kinds of birdies, birds of a feather. And this is a nice bright pop of orange. And we have wild child. That's cool. And then we have paisleys on this side. Uh, fancy free, really like that print. And I think these are little eyeballs. Cute. I'm gonna go like that. So it looks like I did get the entire sticker sheet with this. That is fun. And I'll be able to pop up a bunch of stuff there. So this looks like a piece of trash. <laughs> One moment. Okay, so that is a whole lot of nothing. See, look, I'm using stuff up. That's me being funny. Okay, I'm not funny. Let me see. Do I have anything that feels plain? This one is a nice plain. That's that Dove gray cardstock. All right, so we got one single doily. Okay. There's a frame that looks like that frames that were between frames. I don't think that's a usable frame, but we'll hold on to it. Frames. Uh, this is off white, kind of like a ecru and gold twine. All right, that's about it. So I have a couple die cuts and I have some brads. That's fun. All right, so that's what's in this set. And then, yes, I'm actually going to be done pulling out collections, but I can show you, you know, the alphas and all that kind of stuff. All right, so you see how this is like the world's longest mini kit Monday video, and we're not done. It'll wrap up soon though. So alphas, let me put this aside. I have my alphas right here. Sorry. So this is a repeat. I used this in one of my kits last month. It's these navy blue, they're called indigo, and they're kind of like a variegated blue. I have pretty nice traction on them, but I would love to kill them. These are also a repeat. This is from the Dear Lizzie collection. It's all good. And they're gold. I've used a nice amount from here and only a couple letters from there. Then I wanted to also get some flat alphas so I can have dimension and flat, that kind of thing. I have this large set from Gossamer Blue, so that's a bit of a throwback, that have been used. Uh, Gossamer Blue, they're navy. It doesn't really say the color, but they're nice flat navy, and I do know that these do not stick on their own. Then, look at this one, guys. Basic gray. Kind of crazy that these are from 2013. Might be time to use them. And then I have these two sets of the same alphas from Freckle Fawn to pull up some of the purple in the kit. So I have that. Now for my little extra bits. This is this, and I keep all my stuff for kits in these uh, IKEA 
F-J-A-L-L-A -L -L -A is what these are called. Don't know how to say it, but all right. So for the big fellas, I pulled the New Roads Fabulous Puffy and Accent stickers. I do have pieces on each side, but I have opened them. I have not used these at all. I believe these are by Chamel Navy Blue with glitter bits, and I was able to score them at the dollar, I'm sorry, at Tuesday morning. I have this set of Grateful by Horizon, have not touched them. And then these I just got at Tuesday morning as well. They are Wander, just black puffies. And yes, puffy stickers are my very, very, very favoriteest thing ever. Okay. Let me get to, oh, and I have a couple weird random things that I can show you in a second. Um, these are Tuesday morning goodies as well. This is that nice mac and cheese yellow. Illustrated Faith, um, little hexagons, and I have a bunch of the bigger ones, but look at how cute the little ones are. I did pull this Chamel Glitter Girl. These are glitter shaker stickers. Like, these are fun. Like, the little things move around. So I thought I could use a yellow in some of the teals. I don't think I can use the, I can clearly use pink. Actually, I don't know. We're gonna see how it goes. That's my plan. I have these Citrus Twist Kits Tiny Word Stickers in a nice teal. I have word stickers again, but these are puffy and we're grabbing some of that purple again, which is very cool. And then I have Love and Lemon Brads and these have that really strong yellow again, and they're picking up some of the black. Okay, so then I did say I have the, some random bits. So I have a collection of rub-ons that I ignore a lot. So what I thought I would start doing is conscientiously trying to include them, and if they don't work anymore, then I get to toss them. These are by Kaiser Scrapbook. Rub-ons, they are, can you see that? They're just sewing machine stitches, and I don't even know if they dated these. These are so old. So I'm going to try to get some, oh, the glare. Just put them over there. Rub-ons. I have this ever so random piece of white paper. It's like ribbon paper from an advent calendar at Secret Not Secret Kit Club. Then look at this. I found these, these poor, sad, tortured die cuts. I found these when I was looking through kits. They must have fallen between them. These are cute little hearts and like a cutout heart. So I'm like, all right, I'm gonna use those random bits this month. Oh wait, and here's the last one. Oh, come on, this one's getting stuck. I have a little pearlized die cut that says love. I know, these things I have, and I got a little tiny bit exuberant with this too. I don't know what happened this month. All right, so I have just a little bit of these freckled fawn um, vellum phrase stickers left. And I've used them a lot, but I still have a few pieces. I'd love to kill them off, and they are super sticky. Amy Tan, these are rubber words. I'm not a huge fan of them because they're super gummy feeling, but if I can use up the package, voila. Now, I don't even know why I have these. I have no idea. They're very, very cute. They're doodle bug shaped sprinkles. I got them at a scrapbooking store that I stopped in that I stop in every few years. We only have one around me at all. And um, to see if I liked the store, and I still don't. Okay, I've got some Bella Boulevard Puffy Stars in, this is Blueberry Mix, and they're, they're like, some are deeper navy, some are more of a royal blue. Illustrated Faith Epoxy Little Butterflies. We have some of the yellow and the teal. Whimsical, I have a partial, partial set of these cute little puffies. My Mind's Eye, Yes Please, I have some of these gold mirrored bits, and if I could get them all on one page, that would be cool. Do you see what I've done? I don't know how I did this. Okay, Pink Paisley Moonstruck. We are grabbing a bunch of the colors. I've got the teal in here. I've got the mac and cheese yellow that I call it. I know that's not the color, okay? I just, for some reason, it reminds me of it. I've got some navy, so that's beautiful, and it works. Illustrative Faith Basics with that great navy color again. 
I grabbed these. Um, if I need something on my page that's not necessarily colored, the Chamel Acrylic Shapes Embellishments. I didn't know I had these. These are very cool. L Studio Hello Happy Puffy Words in white. My intention is though, by the way, to go ahead and try to get through the packages that I've started to use first and then going to the new packages. I have this whole die cut set by Dear Lizzie. It is Dear Lizzie. Let's see, New Day Ephemera. Look at how well those colors work with that really nice mulberry picking up. I have, these are Jelly Bean Soup Epoxy Shapes. I just picked these up recently, Dear Lizzie Handmade Embellishments, these cute little bows, and it's like a slight off-white with gold. These are from, who knows? I have no idea, but I seem to own them. They are like epoxy, puffy kind of words. They're kind of stiff, but look at, it has that mulberry color in there again. And I, I'm sure I can work that yellow in. Oh my word. Okay, last two pieces. I picked up from Tuesday morning. Again, this Project Life Set chipboard. They are chipboard and have not opened this, but they do have lots of words. Very cool. And then I have these Heidi Swap stickers, but they are like epoxy puffies again. And that is a very, very small representation of my monster size kit. Okay, that's what I've pulled together. So I have a feeling I will be creating a lot this time around. All right, so wish me luck. Here we go. Bye-bye. Oh, shoot. Um, down below are links to all of my gal pals that are in Mini Kit Monday. They are incredibly talented, and we all have different styles, so that's fun. And I'll try to remember to put a link to our Facebook group as well. It's Mini Kit Monday on Facebook. If you want to like and subscribe, you can do that right there. And then right over there is the notification bell button dealio if you want to be notified when I put another um, video up. And if you have any comments questions, any of that kind of stuff, go ahead and ask. I will get back to you ASAP. Okay, really goodbye.